Coming up, an exclusive interview with Saturday Night Live's sole black female cast member. Joining us today, we have SNL's first whole black female cast member since their last one. She has been featured on almost every SNL segment since joining, which is unheard of for most new cast members. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be a part of the SNL family. Having a black female in SNL is revolutionary. How does it feel to be the only black female cast member of such a prominent show? Well, in general, I think there are a lot of great black women on TV. Carrie Washington, the Sister Sister Girls, Drake, uh... Those three women in Miles Cyrus's last music video. So tell me, how did you get started in becoming the only black female cast member of SNL? Well, I got started training as a comedian in the Upright Citizens Brigade. In New York. New York, that's a great place for diversity. Just the other day, I saw an Indian lady walking down the street. Awesome. But as I was saying, I got started doing a lot of sketch and improv, which was a really amazing experience. Oh, can you give us some Michelle Obama? Excuse me? Do Michelle Obama. No. Okay, uh, Oprah, That's a Raven, the Black Power Ranger. Are all of these questions about being black and a female? Yep. Pre-recorded from Wellesley College, you're watching YouTube. Welcome to WCTV's season premiere of BoobTube. I'm Tara Gupta. And I'm Lucy Shen. Let's crack into Wellesley in a nutshell. If you haven't noticed, this has been one of the whitest winters in recent history. But soon, this snow centricism will give way to a more colored landscape. Ahem. Landscape of color. Wellesley's legendary s'mores grant has actually run out of money. A candlelight vigil will be held next week in its honor. We asked, they listened. Due to overwhelming demand, Wellesley Fresh is now offering green tea ice cream. This is just one of many new exciting demands, including bigger bananas, improved pickles, and steamy hot rice until 7 p.m. Although the bulk of Wellesley 2025 renovations are still to come, the most important campus enhancements have already arrived. Don't tell me you haven't noticed our new compact quad vertical four-wheel cordless tissue dispensers adding a sense of style to your go. That's all for Wellesley in a nutshell. Wellesley College senior and basketball player Leslie Leung scored her thousandth career point last month. Meanwhile, Wellesley College students are asking, does that count towards her GPA? U.S. bobsledder Johnny Quinn got stuck in the bathroom of his Sochi hotel room last week. Jamaican bobsled coach Tanya Harding was unavailable for comment. The hookup app Tinder is reporting that use of its site in Sochi is off the charts. There's one activity where finishing first won't be getting you any medals. Days before the NFL draft, football player Michael Sam announced that he was gay, winning praise from Obama and others. Michael Sam, Ellen Page, the gay agenda is penetrating the nation. Hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husbands. But most importantly, hide your wife. Back to you at the studio. We all know Valentine's Day is long over. Yet love is in the air as failed pickup lines come dropped your way. So here are some tips on how to keep those creeps outside your dorms and stop in the name of love. The only package I want from you is your severance package. I ain't gonna be your BB mama. Swimming with sharks is safer than giving you a chance. No more debates about this. No means no. Peace. And now a word from our sponsors. For the past month on the Gregorian calendar, we have set out to bring Sochi's very best to the Olympic Village. Sochi. With our state-of-the-art rec center, our full bar and restaurant, our pool and jacuzzi, there's something for every member of the team. Bedbugs. Our rooms are designed to keep each athlete as comfortable as possible for the big competition. They come with luxurious closets for the male figure skaters to stay in until they go home. Spandex. If there were a sport for best hotel, we might get the bronze. But hey, it's still a medal. Rush. Come play with us. Page recently came out as gay at a human rights campaign event. Your grandma is still asking herself, but, 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 how did she have that baby? Facebook now has 51 options for the gender tab on your profile. Wellesley students are up in arms, claiming that there should be 52. A petition is forthcoming. Radio Disney launched an educational program funded by Ohio's oil and gas industry teaching kids how pipelines work. There's no one better to teach kids how to destroy the environment than Miley Cyrus. I'm sure you're all excited to hear about the TEDx events that came to Wellesley, and our very own social correspondent was there. 
Only 100 people were able to get in and watch the speakers, but thankfully Sheridan had scored one of those coveted tickets early. It's true, tickets were totally scored. I would never let you guys down. <laughs> Okay, so maybe when I said that tickets were scored, I meant they were scored by 100 other people, but I will get in. First, I will use my chameleon-like abilities to blend into any situation. Just gonna... <laughs> Okay, so maybe my chameleon skills are a little rusty, but I recently rewatched the Masters of Disguise and I will now impersonate a presenter. challenge you to a rap battle for your ticket. I was chilling out, maxing, relaxing off, cool, just shooting some hoops outside my school. <laughs> Don't be such a Carlton. I cannot believe this. Nobody is willing to trade their ticket for art. Nobody appreciates art anymore. This is ridiculous. Back to you at the studio. Thanks for joining us on our season premiere. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and most importantly, stay perky.